know what? Let's go ahead and get into that. Let's get to Arizona. Arizona State. State, the Sun Devils. Seven and six last year. Pretty impressive. Got to a bowl game at seven and five and then uh, got, got beat up by Fresno State, but they they treated it exactly the way it should be treated. It was an exhibition, right? Correct. Um, five and four in conference. They returned seven starters on offense, six on defense. Experience, number seven in the conference. Number 82 nationally, so not good. Not great. Head coach Herm Edwards started one and four in one possession games. They went three and one in one possession games down the stretch, which is bonkers. Yep. Like, they had nine one possession games last year. Um, Guess what? I, I think if I had to pick, a lot of these are going to be close to. Oh, yeah, I'd imagine so. I mean, that I, That's a little bit of Herm's style, though. I don't know that he's such a great coach and they're such a great team. They're going to blow a lot of people out. But I think he teaches kids fundamentals well enough and gets them excited to play big enough to where it's hard to blow them out, too. Hey, you might be right. You might be right. Um, experienced offensive line, all seniors. Yep. Uh, star running back Eno Benjamin had over 1,600 yards rushing last night or last uh, year. They, they, they he's all going to have another big year. Oh, yeah. I would With that line, so. I think he's going to have a big, big year. The problem is that everybody will be focusing on him because they had Manny Wilkins at quarterback last year, you know, senior quarterback, et cetera. This year, it's either freshman Jaden Daniels or junior Dylan Sterling Cole. Uh, wide receiver Nikhil Harry is gone, but they do have a lot of experience returning at wide receiver. Defense should be better with a more experienced front, but they lose dominant nose tackle uh, Rennell Wren. Um, the schedule sets up to match last season's win total, um, but a lot of this depends on quarterback play, et cetera. And I think, you know, going from that stud quarterback, which a lot of people didn't think of Manny Wilkins as that, but he was a just a very consistent, reliable That's right. quarterback. He had experience. He didn't make big mistakes, which hurt teams. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't like the schedule. I don't either. Um, I love Herm, but I, I think this is the drop-off year. I think next year he gets them back, you know, in the 7, 8, 9 wins okay. range. This I was going to say, how far do you have them dropping? I've got them at 5 and 7. Okay, I've got them 6 and 6. i got them dropping the game, but that's the difference. Is we've that's got the, the Arizona-Arizona State game flop, flip. Yep. So I've, I've got a win over Kent State, win over Sacramento State, loss at Michigan State, a win over Colorado, a loss at Cal, win over Washington State, uh, a loss at Utah, loss at UCLA, loss to USC, um, a win at Oregon State, and then a loss to Oregon, loss to Arizona. Yeah. And that's how we get to five and seven. I've got them three and six in conference. Basically, like I said, now now I we have quite a bit of difference in wins and losses of which games, but we differ on right now and today picking the Arizona Arizona yeah. State rivalry. And that's, that's does that game have a name? I don't think so. It's not like I'm the sure Civil War, like Oregon. I'm sure it does. It's, we just don't know it. We just, yeah, we're we're SEC still elitist. Learning. I understand. Yep, we're still.